Can a scrappy Israeli nonprofit land on the moon on a $100 million shoestring budget? Well, it recently took the first step as it launched and then set off on a long, long journey to the lunar surface. Until now, only three nations, the U.S., former uh, Soviet Union, and China have sent robotic landers to the moon. Beginning in 2007, a competition run by the Prize X Foundation and financed by Google was supposed to spur entrepreneurs to send a privately financed spacecraft there, but the competition deadline passed without anyone taking home the $20 million grand prize. Spacehill, based in Israel, was one of the finalists and continued its efforts, even though there was no more money to win. Recently, its spacecraft lifted off on board a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket in Florida. The landing is expected to occur in April. Why will it take so long to get there? Well, the spacecraft is taking a very long but fuel-efficient route. Instead of blasting out of Earth's orbit, it will gradually elongate its elliptical orbit until it passes close enough to the moon to be captured by lunar gravity. Sounds fascinating. Then it will spend a few more days making its orbit around the moon, more circular before attempting a landing. An instrument built by the Wiseman Institute of Science is to measure the moon's magnetic field as the spacecraft approaches for landing. That information should reveal something about the iron core far below the surface. The rocket will also deploy an experimental satellite for the United States Air Force. The first stage of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket itself has launched and landed twice, once in July of 2018 and again in October.